Auto KM100 not connect with VCI 200 device not found solution. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. After recent updates, some users reported that their Auto KM100 cannot connect with VCI 200 via Bluetooth. It is okay with USB cable. There is only problem with Bluetooth connection. Error device not found. Auto KM100 Psi 200 device not found. Here comes the solution. The problem usually can be solved by firmware update. The current latest firmware version goes to version 1.27 till August 2024. How to update Auto KM 100 VCI 200 firmware. Go to Settings VCI Manager. Connect VCI 200 to KM 100 via USB cable. Switch to Firmware Upgrade and Update Firmware. Register and update Auto KM 110. Register and update Auto KM 111. Register and update Auto KM 112. Register and update Auto KM 114. Register and update Auto KM 115. Check it your firmware is 1.27. If your firmware is up to date, swipe down on the KM100 screen and turn off Bluetooth and turn it back on and it will connect. Or doing following. Plug the VCI into a vehicle and power it up. Then use something like your phone to search for Bluetooth devices. If you can find it, then the Bluetooth is working and the issue is at the device end. Try turning off Bluetooth and back on again. If that doesn't work, forget the connection to the VCI and repair it again. If none of that works, try factory resetting the tablet. If none of this works, see if you can borrow someone else's VCI and see if you can pair it. If that works, it must be an issue with the VCI and it will need replacing. Update. KM100 released new VCI version on August 21st, 2024 to fix the Bluetooth connection issue. Auto KM100 update, Psi 1.14. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.